Hello all, Jeff here with a new video. Today I'm doing a bit of a comparison between the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker and the Hot Wheels Rip Rod because they both feel very different on Forza Motorsport 7 and Forza Horizon 4. Yeah, they're not they're not proper road, proper cars, but in the same sense, a car should generally feel the same in Forza Horizon and Motorsport, although the physics of the game are you know obviously different. The car itself should generally feel the same, but not the case with this two. So let's start off with the Bone Shaker. In Motorsport 7, there are the stats below. Now, um, power and torque for the Bone Shaker in both Forza games are exactly the same. However, in Motorsport 7, there is an extra 80 kilograms on board, but here's the weird thing, 65% of the weight is at the front. On Horizon 4, just 53% of the weight is at the front, and it's just 80 kilograms lighter. I don't know what's going on between Turn 10 and Playground Games, but they're the stats. How do they behave? A bit differently, and you're about to find out. So I thought I'd take the Bone Shaker to the North Slifer because there's, you know, a lot of twisty stuff around. Now, this thing. It's a bit of a handful in Motorsport 7. It probably feels like what a hot rod, how a hot rod should probably feel. You know, a bit all over the joint. Just a three-speed gearbox here. It, you know, you've got that turning understeer mainly because the front tires are so small, and then you get a fair bit of oversteer later on. But um, yeah, it's a fair bit of a handful on Forza Motorsport 7. As you can see, it's just just wrestling to try and keep it on the track. And yeah, and you know, we're about to go to the really quick section as we go up, get to flood plots. You'll see that this is a, a bit of a, hand, a lot, you know, a fair handful, especially even when you're just changing gear. Like, for example, this section <laughs> nearly, nearly putting it into the wall, that's how much of a handful it is. And then in this section, it's just, it's <laughs> just manhandling the thing. It's, um, very weird. Um, what I did note is um, the top speed for the Bone Shaker in both Forza games. Well, <laughs> see what I mean by being an absolute handful. Top speed is, you know, very similar. Like, um, two, it was like, I think it was like 242 kilometers an hour, something like that, was its top speed in Motorsport 7. In Horizon 4, you can get to oh, probably 250. Obviously, I ran out of road here, but as you can see, it's got six gears instead of three. And, oh, mate, he's actually changing gears with the good old skull, skull that's going through the roof. Oh, mate, on Motorsport 7, I don't know why he doesn't change gear, but anyway, maybe it's programmed to be an automatic transmission on Motorsport 7. I don't know, but in terms of handling in Horizon 4, it's a shock to the system. Because, um, yeah, yeah, you, you get a bit, you know, you smoke the wheels up when you're going out of really slow corners or if you're launching, but in turns like this, it's an absolute dream. It's completely different to what you'd expect in Motorsport 7. Anyway, here is the rip rod in Motorsport 7. Power was virtually inexistent. 110 horsepower, 72 foot-pounds of torque. It's very slow in Motorsport 7, whereas in Horizon 4, it's got a lot more power, as you can see there. And it's got almost double the torque. <laughs> weight and weight distribution are the same, but it's just weird that, you know, it's just so different. But anyway, what's it like to drive? Well, I thought I'd just take it to Le Mans, because on Forza 7, this car sucks. You might be thinking, hang on, it's a hot rod. Look at this. One gear. It's that abomination of a gearbox called a CVT. The continuously variable transmission you would see in your mum's SUV. What it's doing in a car like this, I've got no idea. But it's just a, I just thought I'd do like a simple top speed test. I don't know what Turn 10's thinking, to be honest. 
because yeah it's just not what you would expect out of a hot rod you'd, you would expect a hot rod to be absolutely mental acceleration for days and this just has none of it and yeah it tops out about 212 kilometers an hour it, it will hit 212 in it there you go almost but yeah as you can see I'm trying to change gear but you can't in this game but yeah it's <laughs> it ruins the car for me in this game because it is a very cool car but yeah having this stupid gearbox I, with hardly any power I don't know what's going on whereas in Horizon 4 I was just looking around we'll just you know take a cruise down the highway down down to that tunnel go downhill see how we go we got more than one gear wow it's such a difference look we've got six gears wait we've got even more than that seven and we go downhill we've got an eighth gear as well how does this happen motorsport 7 this car has one gear and in horizon 4 it has eight and as you can see is absolutely destroying the Forza 7 rip rod. Yeah, this is more arcadey, but still, you would think they would both feel the same. But yeah, that's why I think of the Bone Shaker and the rip rod in Forza games. They behave very differently depending on what game you play. So yeah, there you have it. So if you like the video, smash the thumbs up button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this, and if you want to see more videos, subscribe and tap the notification icon. Anyway, this is Jeff here and happy racing. Cheese.